Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Alpha from Lightness or Unmult effect to remove a black background from an animated texture. One reason I might choose the Unmult effect over using the screen blend mode the unmult effect makes it really easy to add colors or gradients or glows to all of the particles or the specks or the dust or the noise or whatever is left over after you remove the black background. So on the bottom layer, I just have this stock video footage that I downloaded from pexels.com. Then I just drag down this animated overlay of film, dust, and scratches that I got from Envato Elements. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. To remove the black background using the Alpha from Lightness Unmult effect, first I'm just gonna select the film scratch overlay. Then I'm gonna go up to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the Window menu and just check Effects and Presets. I'm just gonna do a search for Unmult. U-N-M-U-L-T, there I see alpha from lightness, unmult. And if unmult is hard to remember, just type in alpha, A-L-P-H-A. I'll select the alpha from lightness, unmult effect. I'm just gonna drag it right onto the layer that I want to remove the black background from. And just like that, it removed the black background. If adding the effect did not remove the black background for you, Click on the Take Alpha From menu, just click on this drop down and change it from Alpha to either Luminance or Lightness, and that should work for you. And if I want to colorize the dust and the scratches, I'll make sure that I have the animated overlay layer selected. Go to the top menu, Effect, Generate. I'll choose Fill, and now I can change it to any color I want. It's going to easily update the color of those dust and scratches. I'll do one more example using this animated particle overlay that I also got from Envato Elements and I have another stock video underneath. Only this time I'll compare the unmult effect to the screen blend mode. I duplicated the particles just so I can compare the two. First I'll select screen. I'm going to go to the mode column and if you don't see that right click on the header go to columns and check modes. I'll click on the blend mode drop down and select screen. So the screen blend mode knocked out the black background, which is great. But now look what happens when I try to add a color overlay. So with the screen layer selected, I'll go to the layer menu, layer styles. If I choose color overlay or gradient overlay, it adds this red overlay. So now I have to come down to the layer and figure out how to get that blending options or change the blend mode of this color. That's a couple of extra steps that I don't want to take. Let's do the same thing using the Unmult effect. So I have the Unmult particle layer selected. I'm gonna to go to Effects and Presets. I'll type in Unmult. I'll select it and drag it right onto that Unmult layer. The black background was removed. Now with the layer selected, I'll go up to the Layer menu, Layer Styles, Color Overlay, and just like that, it colorized the particles only without having to do anything else. And that is the alpha from lightness or unmult effect, making it very easy to remove backgrounds without using blend modes. And for finishing touches, I added a four color gradient and a glow on the particle layers. And my name is Mike Murphy, cheers.